What's good YouTube, it's your boy Arlo, welcome back to AM Alive. I hope you guys are doing good, I am doing alright. Today we're here back with another reaction video. Today we're gonna be reacting to... Frankenstein and Myrrh are so expensive. Why Frankenstein and Myrrh are so expensive? By Business Insider, Business Insider. Listen, let me say something. I know I'm not the only person who did not know how to spell Frankenstein until this very moment. You know what I mean? It's like, it's spell basic, but at the same time, I didn't notice. You know what I mean? It's like one of those words, and you sit down and be like, I can spell that word, but you don't know how to spell the word. You know, after you see it, be like, that's how you spell that word? I can spell that word without trying. You know what I mean? It's one of those words, but yeah, Frankenstein and why Frankenstein and Murr is so expensive. All I know about Frankenstein and Murr, they're minerals. Other than that, I don't know nothing about them, and I think they're minerals. I am too sure. But let's just get into it. Frankincense and myrrh are perhaps best known for their biblical connotation. Yeah, from the Bible. But this tree sap has been prized across the world for over 6,000 years. So it's not even a real mineral. These fragrant incense pieces come from the Bursaraceae family of trees and are found across the Horn of Africa and the Arabian Peninsula. But despite recent attempts to protect these trees, they could soon be headed for extinction. Wow. So Everything can be extinct, man. So expensive. There are roughly 550 species of bursaries, a collection of trees often referred to as the incense tree family, recognizable for their flaking aromatic bark and fragrant sap. But true frankincense comes from only a small fraction of those species. Do you have six species uh, of gum and trees? Uh, one of those species called the uh, I can't pronounce that. That is a scientific name. I haven't even tried. That is highly demanded in the international market. Frankincense is a milky white resin derived from Boswell trees, which are remarkable for their ability to grow in unforgiving conditions. In fact, these trees have been known to grow out of solid rock. Myrrh, on the other hand, is a reddish resin extracted from comifora trees. The process of extracting sap from Boswellia and comifora trees is virtually identical. Incisions or taps are made in the bark of the tree, which create injury. The trees produce a gummy resin, like a scab, as a protection against the injury. The resin then hardens into teardrop pieces. Yes! More incisions are made at important intervals to continue the production of resin exudates. Oh my gosh. There's this particular tree when I was growing up small. It reminds me of this tree. But I don't want to even say Caribbean people, probably Caribbean people, I don't know. I don't know what type of tree it is. It's like it has barks, it's a flaky tree. Once you cut it, like how they were saying, the sap is produced and it used to protect. Like a scab, like they said. I can't remember the name of the tree. I can't remember how the tree looked. But it, this was, tree was around from when I was small. As a kid, we had one in the yard. In our yard. But that's what that reminded me of just now. Like, after a while, you see like this little stem. It looked like honey wax, but it's not. Honey, honey. Honey, honey. Like honey, dry up honey, but it's not. I can't remember what it's called, but this is what that reminds me of. For those, sorry, for those who know what I'm talking about. We collect some more. Uh, the same process can you do 15 days, 15 days. The resin granules collected from the trees must be separated into different grades. First grade A frankincense is clear, white, and without impurities. Smaller pieces of the same high quality granules are separated within a sieve and classified as first grade B frankincense. The grades gradually deteriorate based on the size and the amount of impurities, such as bark infused into the resin. What are you used for? Low quality frankincense is mainly sold for local market consumption, whereas grades 1, 2, 3, and 4 are exported. So, what was it? It's a great day. It's more expensive. That's what it is. 
This one's a quality and great standard one. This one's expensive. Around 15 without that. How much is that? That means that at wholesale, this sack of first grade A Ethiopian frankincense is worth about $430. Depends what you do with it. Have been burnt as incense for thousands. Oh, of years. incense! And both are deeply ingrained in religious ceremonies. Hey, for my Catholic people, why else? What else for? Church alone still uses an estimated 50 metric tons of frankincense a year. What's the purpose of that? Were some of the most highly prized commodities in ancient civilizations, and became the driving force behind the creation of the incense trade routes. A vast network of major land and sea passageways dating back to 300 BC that linked the Mediterranean to luxury goods from the south. Mm. At the height of their use, these routes allowed the transport of approximately 3,000 tons of incense every year, hauled by camels. Today, alongside its medicinal and, and cosmetic uses. Okay, I have a right? stupid question. Y'all might be like, oh, yeah, that's a stupid question. For people who are Christians, Y'all remember when Moses crossed the Red Sea? Is there water still in that Red Sea? The same water Moses crossed? Is that water, is that passage still there? Well, it's a sea. I don't know. Stupid question, just me thinking aloud. The consensus found a surge in popularity as an essential oil, which in its purest form can be sold for as much as 6,000. Per liter. Essential oil alone generated more than $190 million in 2008. Stop that. And that's expected to exceed $406 million Ooh. by 2028. If y'all have any more. But with so much money to be made from damaging a tree, the tapping process, which should happen only two or three times a year, is under oh. threat not only from environmental dangers such as wildfires, but also from local untrained tappers. Wow. It can sometimes take decades for these trees to start producing residue. So the sustainability of the species relies on injuring the tree without killing it. Um. Unfortunately, the harvesting process uh, of uh, frankincense is very damaging to the tree. So every time people go there and make wounds and then collect the, the sap, that doesn't give enough time to heal first for, for the tree and heal itself. So one of our findings is this tree is really under a threat. The International Union for Conservation of Nature. You might like me some nipples. The Australia sacra species was near threatened over 20 years ago. Mm. And the lack of over harvesting laws in some countries means that protecting Boswellia trees What's a big knife thing? is virtually impossible. Experts who surveyed aging Boswellia papyrus in ball. North Africa suggested that most hadn't produced a young tree in half a century. <laughs> This tree is replaceable. The tree is in order to stop all of this, all you gotta do is stop tapping on a damn tree. You know what I mean? I feel like they should have people, if they don't, they should probably have like little police monitors, tree monitors, you know, watching the trees, make sure the tree's okay. Or like they say, have a program where they plant more of the Frankenstein, Frankenstein tree. You know what I mean? So you're telling me they just use all that to burn incense? They made 160, 109, or 160 million dollars last year, or 2018, from burning incense. Wow! Sounds like a big money-making market. Your boy might just, your boy might just dabble into that a little bit, but I ain't get no money for that. But hey. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Share the like button, subscribe, comment down below in the comment section. If you guys want to see me react to anything else, drop it down in the comment section. Your boy will try to get to it as soon as possible. All right? You know me. I like educational stuff. This is one of my little educational topics. Shout out to Business Insider for the video. You know they do a pretty good job. I'm subscribed. But with that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy. Be joyful. And remember, the world is yours. Yeah.